and uh, if you saw my previous video, this is the video I didn't upload before. This is me re-recording it because I wasn't quite keen on how the last one turned out. So this is going to be kind of a loadout video because my loadout's changed a bit now that it's getting a bit warmer outside. Over summer it's going to be a lot warmer hopefully. So that's why I've changed my warm out, my warm out, my loadout a bit. So this is it just in total. I'm just going to take one or two little pieces off just to make it a bit easier for me to make the video such as my Mechanics Impact 2 gloves, uh, the model of these. Great gloves, they've got great padding all over them, uh, but for the purposes of the summer they might be a little bit warm, so I don't know whether I'll be using them. And the other piece that I might be removing during the hot summer months is my Replica Mitch helmet. It's a um, great helmet, really comfortable, but it's a little bit warm, so I might be replacing this and the goggles with just a pair of full seal shooting glasses. Make sure they are full seal if you're using any shooting glasses like that, especially for airsoft. So this is kind of like the bare bones of my kit. Um, I'm going to be going over that today, uh, why I've got it on me, and you know why I've put it where it is. So we'll go through that. We have obviously my primary. Um, I'll quickly go through as I usually do. There is no battery in here. In here, sorry, I shouldn't point to the back of it. No rounds in any of my magazines. The only things with rounds in are speed loaders. And, you know, there is no risk for me getting injured, so I can put my finger on the trigger, I can do this and nothing happens, and that's why I'm not wearing any safety glasses at all. So, we have my primary, which is, I did a video on this um, recently actually, which is a lot more stripped down than it used to be. I used to just strap absolutely everything I could find on here and make it look super huge, but it was ridiculously heavy. I realised this is about the bare bones of what I need on there. I have... Well, I don't even necessarily need any of it, but I have a red dot in the form of a Comp M2 aimpoint. Um, that I just use because, you know, I find it nicer. The height that this is at, I prefer to the iron sights that came with it, that kind of thing. And I think it just looks kind of cool as well. You know, it's always a big part of airsoft is looks. <laughs> so I've got my Comp M2 aimpoint on there, which I think is just a nice sight. You've got, you know, your lens caps, although one of them is missing on here because I actually got this second hand, but you know, it's not too much to complain about. I have my Magpul backup sights, like that, which I can then, uh, let me try and line this up with the camera, I can actually aim through them through the aim point as well. So, you know, in case um, my batteries die in the aim point or something like that happens, I can flick these up or it turned out it's not zero properly, I can flip these up and they are zero. Uh, I have my foregrip here which I have quite far back on the rail as you or the rail piece I've put on you can't put a longer rail I've just put a small one on here but quite far back but that's because I like to have the kind of traditional grip as well um, I kind of switch between them depending on the situation so it gives me the option of both and I if I'm giving it the traditional grip like that I like to be able to push my hand back up against something so it acts as a hand stop as well so you know it's kind of like a multifunctional grip there I have, as I've said before, my little LED torch with the push button on the back, like that. It's nice and easy to put on and off. It's uh, just cable tied on, it's no airsoft or tactical torch or anything like that, it's bright red. Uh, it's just a nice little LED I quite like using on there. And I have my laser as well. Uh, God damn it. So one thing I've found about this uh, laser and the foregrip is that if the foregrip's pushed back slightly too far, the laser doesn't turn on. Don't know whether that's the fault with this gun in particular or just the whole series of them, but wee, there we go, laser, wee. Uh, I don't know whether that actually hit the camera or not, I can barely tell. But, <laughs> you know, and then we have the stock here, which I've swapped out the regular stock that comes with the G&G GR4 GR26 with a huge long name um, to this kind of rip off Magpul one pretty much. Um, I don't even know if it is a real rip-off Magpul one, it's just I like the look of it and it was quite cheap when I got it, so, you know, I picked that up. And that is pretty much every accessory I've got on my primary, so I'll unhook that now, like so. And we'll just lie that here. I don't know, you can probably see it in the mirror, I use my bed to just lean stuff on in my videos. So I have my one-point sling here, uh, which is cable tied up, because when I had everything on there, it actually pulled this buckle out and it broke, which wasn't good. But hey, we'll get over it. Um, so that's so now I just use the actual clip on it, this little clip here, rather than using the kind of clip here. It's not a big deal. 
and this is going through my shoulder pads and if I turn around you should be able to see it um, actually kind of attached to the molly at the back there and that's so it doesn't pull all the way through because I'm quite a skinny guy if it pulled all the way through the gun hangs about here so I've pulled it up a bit so it's a little bit higher and easier for me to manoeuvre. Now behind that I have two magazines on pouches here and this um, play carrier actually has this big pocket at the back here I don't know whether it's a matte pocket or what, I don't know what it's actually for, but I saw another two magazines and my M4 mag speed loader in there. Um, that's just my kind of standard loadout for that. I keep it all as close to my right hand side as I can, which gives me all of this space to manoeuvre with my gun if I need it. So, you know, whatever I'm doing, this side is free and it means that I can draw down to my pistol really quickly. If I had, say, I don't know, a magazine or a first aid kit sticking out here, I might snag that before I grab my pistol and if it's a time where and I've run out of mag uh, ammo in a magazine on my rifle or move into a building I want to be on my pistol and out as fast as possible so that's why I keep that side clean except I'll go on to this now my one little grenade pouch here um, that is actually the pouch for my Leatherman uh, or a cheap ripoff of a Leatherman that I now put my real Leatherman in there um, but I found that it's quite a nice grenade pouch, it's nice and close to my body so I don't catch it on anything. Yeah, I can get it with both hands if I'm holding my gun, which is nice. Then I have my two little clips on here which I usually attach my gloves to when I'm just kind of standing around at the start. They're more just so I don't have to put my gloves down and then forget them. Uh, I have my, on uh, my right hand side, I have my kind of cheap version or cheap solution to not being able to afford a battle belt and magazine pouches. Uh, it is a drop leg holster that I wear attached to my belt um, with the leg straps on. I have a pistol mag speed loader in here. I would usually carry a second pistol mag, but currently my second pistol mag is leaking. So until I fix that, it's going to have the speed loader in there. And I have an M4 mag, so or a Stanag mag really. Um, so when I'm reloading, that's where I'll reload from. And then I can cycle all my mags round and further over. Then on my left side, as I did just mention, I have my KJW P226 pistol. It isn't loaded, it doesn't have any gas in. The, I, for some reason, out of instinct, I always cock the hammer before I put it in my holster on my hip. Uh, I'm just used to that. So that's quite nice. It's in a, black, a genuine Blackhawk CQB uh, holster, the Surfer one. So you've just got your little finger tab here and draw it out and push it back in again. That is just on the belt hook. I do have the drop leg adapter for it as well but at the minute I'm used to using it here. I'm tempted to try the drop leg one for a bit, but I don't know yet. Uh, I might have to give it a go at some point. And then on my back here, as you can see, I have my uh, Black Hawk dump pouch. This is actually the pouch that came with a pair of knee pads I got from Black Hawk, uh, but I only run them occasionally. I use them if I'm in a more of a support role because they're very bulky and they slow me down a lot when I'm running. So at the minute, this loadout is very determined towards speed. That's kind of like the main areas of my loadout. As you can see, I've got my DPM camo trousers and just a plain black t-shirt. I do have a DPM jacket, but it's a bit big and bulky, so in the summer I probably won't be running it. And the only other things I keep on me are stuff like, I'll usually have a bag of BBs just to reload any speed loads if I need it. I'll have a bottle of water. And the one last thing I, yes, I did actually put it in my pocket is, it's the other thing I have on me is my Leatherman. Uh, just because, you know, a tool like with like a knife and stuff on can, you know, it's invaluable to have. It's, I always have it on me if I can, if it's legal for me to carry it at that point. So obviously, you know, I don't take it to school or anything, but, you know, when I'm coaching archery or anything like that, I'll always have it in my pocket just because it's incredibly useful to have. Now that is pretty much my loadout. The one thing uh, that I have on this that you haven't seen at the second is the uh, plates in here, which are... I did a video on, I just made a cardboard, uh, they're more just to give this plate carrier a bit of shape. And this torch, which doesn't do anything, I just put it in there for looks. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a mag light that the, um, the contacts went on. And we've got a couple of mag lights as well, we used to have loads of them because they're like the only torch we used to trust to use. Uh, but I thought, well, you know, I've had it for years, might as well keep it on me, and I keep it there. And then in this little admin pouch at the back here, it's more for like ID. Um, I usually just keep one or two little pieces of paper with just important notes on and stuff like that, really. Uh, <laughs> although my definition of important notes isn't 
most people's definition of important notes. It's usually little scribbled notes I've got from a mate or something like that. Uh, and no, that's pretty much everything I have on here. I have my necklaces and tags and wristbands, but you know, that's not airsoft related. That's just because I wear them. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much my entire airsoft loadout. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I've enjoyed recording it. I love doing my loadout videos because it lets me just talk about the random reasons as to why I put stuff where it is. Um, like I said, I hadn't recorded anything in a while because I had quite a big backload, backlog even of videos. So it's quite nice to get back into recording. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a nice time between now and my next video. And I'm sure I'll see you there.